Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these royal lacy super duo earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials for you. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Also share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of super dual beads or you could use twin beads as well. Here I'm using 11 o seed beads in three colors, white, purple and iris. These are earring findings. This is nylon beading thread. This time I'm trying different brands and uh, this is from Spark Beads and it is 0.1 millimeters but you could use Nymo or Neil Bond beading thread here I'm using this in purple color these are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads and now I'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys so what I first took on my needle are four purple super dual beads and four 11 iris beads and i'm alternating them okay you could pause and pick those up then i'm sliding those down i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is to make a knot and i prefer to make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop i've made and pulling and then i make one more knot just to be sure that is all tight and secure and what i want to do next is go through some beads like this and I'm reinforcing my work. Here I'm using a thinner thread, that is why I'm reinforcing. If you're using, let's say, 0.3 millimeters, you might not reinforce at all, probably. Okay. Then what I do in my next step, guys, is that I go through the same bead but through its empty hole outer empty hole i'm zigzagging through it as you may see you see exiting out of here and going here just zigzagging through it and now i'm going to take two white beads two white super dual beads and i'm going in the next empty hole of the same super dual in this way I'm changing directions but don't worry uh, it is a wanted effect and now uh, something else I prefer to do in this case is that I flip my work like this why I do this well because I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to go in this direction and then in this step I'm taking three super doors and again I go in the next empty hole of my purple super doll. Then again, I take two white super doors and I go in the next hole, the next empty hole that is on my way. And here I take three super doll beads. Now, if you want, you could reinforce this row. To make your beads stay nice and tight okay and when you're ready i will do similar thing uh, what i showed you before i'm going 
backwards through the white one, zigzagging through it, just like this. Okay, my friends, now I will do what I did before. I will flip my work because it will be easier for me as I'm right-handed. If it's easier for you, do it in the other direction. Okay, now I take a white one. Another white. And then purple seed bead, purple super duo and purple seed bead. And I go in the next empty hole that's on my way. Here I'm adding just one super duo. Then again a purple, a super duo and a purple. And I go in the next white. Two whites one by one. And then purple, super duo, purple. One white. And again, guys, the same thing. Then you see I'm exiting out of this white bead from its inner hole. And what I want to do is to go through its empty outer hole like I was doing so many times before. And then I'm going to take one super duo. Okay. It is absolutely the same thing. And now guys, it will be easier for me to flip my work. And I flip it like that. A purple and two super duos go in the next purple. Then two super duos and one purple eleven o, and go in the next white. And one purple seed bead, two purple super duos go in the next purple. And then two super duos and one seed bead and go in the next white. One white. One purple seed bead and two purple super duos go here. Then the other way around. And I continue in similar manner. Okay, and now this is what I have. Then I go backwards through this white bead. And then I flip my work. Now I think it will be easier for me if I also cut this tail thread here. One seed bead and one super duo in purple color. Go in the next purple. Then one purple. One white. One purple. A purple seed bead, a white super duo, and a purple seed bead. 
go in the next purple. Purple, white, purple then. One super dew and one seed bead in purple color. And then the other way around, one seed bead and one super dew. Here, this part is purple, white, purple. At this point, we need purple, white, purple. Go like this. Again, purple. White. And purple. And then again a super do and a C beat. And go through some beats in this direction. Okay, and then what I do is go through the empty hole of the same super do zigzagging through it okay this is what i've been doing all the time then i'm going to flip my work i'm going to take three c beads three again all of them in purple color and i'm going to continue adding three beads everywhere until the end of this row Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. If your work bends a little bit somewhere, don't worry, we'll fix it in the next steps. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now I want to do an additional step of reinforcing. I'm going through the first of those three beads, then I'm skipping the middle one and I go through the next one. Why I do this? Because when I pull a little bit, you see how this central bead pops out because I'm making a new thread pad. Okay, I go through the first, skip the next one, pop it out, just like this. Go through the super do and through the next seed bead. If you can do it in one movement, if not in two movements, like me in this case. Okay. Then I skip the next bead and I go through the following and through the purple one after that and pull it. Okay, I'll do this off camera until the end and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and this is the last step where I'm popping up the last bead from this row. And what I want to do next is go here through one of the middle purple beads that are popping out. And I need five white beads popping out this purple here and pulling okay i'm connecting the two beads that are sticking out the most with five white beads okay again five go in the next one that is sticking out five again go in the next okay and i'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row and I'll be back. 
Okay, guys, and here I'm adding the last five beads from this row. Like this. Okay. Now, in my next step, what I want to do is to go through two of those white beads. Then I'm skipping the middle one that is on my way. And I go through the next two whites and through the following purple. So I'm sure you could guess what happens next. I pull like this and to make this one pop out. Then I go through the following white bead and I take just one iris bead and I go through again through this white here and through the purple after that. Okay, and when I pull, I have it here. Okay, then I go through two beads, skip the center one that is on my way, and I go through the two whites and through the purple after that. And I pop out this white one. Go in the next white. Take an iris bead, go back through the white and through the purple, and pull. Again, two white beads. Skip the central one that is on my way, and go through the next two whites and through the purple pop this one out. Go in the next white and repeat absolutely the same thing. Take one iris, go back through the white and through the purple one more time and continue the same way until the end of this row. I will do this off camera and I'll be back. If you forget the steps, you could always rewind this video, see how I'm doing this part and repeat it until the end. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row. I'm going backwards through my beads just like this and I'm pulling. Then I go through the following white bead. And what I need to do guys is to exit through this iris bead because here is the place where I want to attach my earring finding. You see, I want to attach it here where this white super duo is pointing because I don't think if I touch it here it will look good. Okay, my goal is to exit through this bead. Then I'm taking an iris bead, an earring finding and an iris bead. And I'm going backwards just like this. And then I'm going to reinforce. And after that, guys, I'm going to find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, let's say I'll make it here at the angle. Make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made. Pull tight. 
And what I want to do next is go through some beats in this direction and you might want to repeat this note several more times. And when you're ready, go through the following few beats and cut your tail thread. Okay guys, and now my Royal Lacy Super Duo beaded earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. In this way, you motivate me to make more and more videos for you. Support me in PayPal by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.